Let's solve the linear equation. The first thing we need to do is make sure that we clear any parentheses. We can do that by noticing that there's a 5 in front of the parentheses, but that 5 has a negative sign in front of it. So we actually need to distribute the negative 5 through the parentheses. Now don't be tempted to subtract 5 from 8 because that would not follow our order of operations. So let's leave the 8 alone. We have 8. Now let's distribute the negative 5 through the parentheses. And we have negative 5 times x, which is just negative 5x. And then we have negative 5 times negative 2, which will give us positive 10, equals x plus 26. Now before we go on, on the left-hand side, we have some constant terms that we can combine to simplify it. So first I have negative 5x, and then I'll combine the 8 and the 10 to get 18. That's equal to x plus 26. Now, let's go ahead and move the terms that have variables to the left-hand side. So we can do that by subtracting x from both sides of the equation. Negative 5x plus 18. Let's subtract x from the left-hand side equals x plus 26, and we'll subtract x from the right-hand side as well. On the left-hand side, negative 5x minus x gives us negative 6x plus 18 equals the x minus x add to 0, and we just have 26. Next, we'll subtract 18 from both sides of this equation to get the constants on the right-hand side. So we have negative 6x plus 18 minus 18 equals 26 minus 18. On the left-hand side, we're just left with negative 6x because the 18 and minus 18 add to 0 equals, on the right-hand side, 26 minus 18 is 8. Finally, we divide both sides by negative 6, and we get x equals 8 divided by negative 6. Let's simplify that. At the same time I simplify it, I'm simply going to move the negative sign up to the numerator because that's standard. We'll divide both the numerator and denominator by 2, and our solution is that x is equal to negative 4 thirds, or we can write the solution set negative 4 thirds.